Hey guys, Abner Miranda here. I know that this video is going to get some people hot, but I don't really care. I've been preaching this for a long time, and it's basically this. You should, at all costs, reduce those items in your life that require batteries. If you are a student of fourth generation warfare, which is what I am, then you will understand that the precepts of fourth generation warfare is carry the least amount possible for mission success. I actually, guys, I stumbled on a lot of this stuff. Um, in a previous video I mentioned this, but uh, last year uh, I went on a family cruise and my wife and I would spend several hours every day out sitting on the, on the deck reading, which, guys, go on a cruise. Trust me, it is the best way to vacation. Because unlike most vacations where it's drive, 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 hotel, drive, you know, fun venue for the day, where are we gonna eat, back to the hotel, drive, 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 drive. For a cruise, it's drive, get on the ship, and be pampered for seven to eight days. I just said pampered. Wow, let me have to edit that out. Okay, so um, so you spend a lot of time reading, which is great, I love reading. Um, two things that I enjoy a lot is writing and reading. And when you're a magazine writer, you, you end up spending more time reading for research than reading for pleasure and I enjoy reading for pleasure. So anyways, uh, I've been studying fourth generation warfare. I read a book by, uh, I read a book about John Boyd and John Boyd had studied Musashi I think in like six or seven different translations and um, actually it was Musashi and no it was Sun Tzu. He studied Sun Tzu in like six or seven different translations and when you start looking at what fourth generation warfare is about and when you start understanding what UDA is about, observe, orient, decide, act, and when you start looking at all the little precepts that that control what we do with self-defense practitioners, then you start to realize that less really truly is more. If you have skill because you're not tied up in all the crap that's on your gun, then you focus on just sights, which is why I don't like running RMRs on my handguns. Um, if you focus on, on uh, setting yourself up for success with your, with your long gun, of course in my case it's a very short gun, um, my go-to gun has an RMR08G on it. Why? Because this optic does everything that I need it to do. Out to about 100 yards, I can pretty much discern where I want to hit you with this optic because it's got a delta. So at the very top of that point is my point of aim, point of impact and I know where to move that depending on if I'm inside or if I'm outside of my zero. And I have no weapon light on this because lighting is a two-way street. Darkness, I should say. Darkness is a two-way street. So this gun for me is it. It has everything on it that I need and nothing that I don't. If I need a light, if I need a light, then yes, I carry a handheld light. It hooks into the front of my belt I just run it in and it hooks into the front of my belt and it goes low and high and this one is like 180 lumens something like that and it's got a really long run time it's a ProTac 1L and I got this idea from Frank Proctor years ago I saw him running this on his rifle and I said what is that and he says oh it's a ProTac 1L and I've got a little mount for it which I bought by the way the great mount and um, but when it comes to a, a uh, tier 1 citizen vehicle gun, right? I don't want anything that runs on batteries. And, and, and well, let me back up. When I need a light, here it is. If you do any level of, uh, of uh, weapons training, what you find, whether it be handheld, I'm sorry, whether it be handgun or long gun, you're doing a lot of this, or you're doing this, or you're doing this, but the point is, once you once you drop the bad guy, you actually are supposed to keep your gun on the bad guy. There he is. And I'm supposed to search with my handheld light, not with the weapon light. So what ends up happening is, I've been to a lot of uh, weapons training, a lot of night training. And to date, I have, I want to say, probably two classes actually really focused on the weapon light 
all the rest, and there's a lot of them, all the rest focused on the handheld light. It was always, you know, you'd, like let's say that you'd have your weapon light, right? And you'd go whack, 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 and you'd burn this guy to the ground. You got your weapon light on him, and you take your handheld out, and you start searching with your handheld. Okay, well, I mean, I've only got, I've only got, yeah, I've got two eyes, but technically they're one, right? Because they focus on uh, in a direction. So if my eyes are busy following the handheld light, does it really matter that I got a weapon light? No. And what I'm finding and what I have found with a lot of the training that I've had is the guys on either side of me would be running their drills with their light and they were always providing all the light that I needed to get things done. And whether you're talking starlight, moonlight, street light, headlights, the bad guy has a light, which is really handy because then you know exactly where to shoot the guy. But not having a weapon light is more beneficial. Oh, I'm going to get punched in the nose for that one. I find that not having a weapon light is more beneficial than beneficial in the environment outside of the home. And that is the only caveat. When you're talking about, for, when you're talking about a, um, a weapon for in-home use, buddy, you better have a light on it because in that environment, you do need to have a light. Not because you need to go searching your house. There's nothing in my house of any value to me except my children. And the good thing is my wife and I are on the main floor. My children are safely above with the dog and it's a fatal funnel to get to them. And my kids know how to shoot, so. As always, I thank you for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns on practice. Have a good one.